we got some new information from star citizen leaks i believe with the um new 320 patch that dropped for evo cardia it looks like the pipeline was able to get some files and some uh some some of the xml files some of the details in the xml files that we're going to go through some really really interesting stuff um once again take this with a grain of salt and that um some of these things may may be true may not be true maybe something that cig may end up removing or adding so um take everything that we say in this video with a grain of salt do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe let's get into it all right so the first thing that they did find is the um it seems like a tractor beam variant for the argo m mpuv it says argo mpuv so that's probably gonna have a tractor beam so the official name seems like it's the argo mpuv 1t and that's what's found in the xml files there up next is uh, it seems like they have some um battery mechanics that they were able to find in the xmls and some of the um warnings that they have mentioned here is broken and jammed so it seems like batteries could be broken and jammed or maybe it's just uh uh, regarding maybe weapons specifically so there is another thing that's uh, interesting i find interesting it says charge drain so um pertaining to battery so um it looks like in, in regards to battery you can um charge it and you can deplete it it can be in, in a state of charging so you can have that so that's that's something you would expect but there is drain right batteries can be drained and there is a mechanic where it says draining as well um here so and then there also um a part where it says draining available and draining unavailable so could this be a mechanic where you could drain the battery of another vehicle or another ship is that's going to be interesting so um there's also a generator pertaining to the draining mechanic there and um and it also could be in an idle state and it also says on grid so i'm not interested i'm not uh it says infinite on grid not sure what that means but i'm sure we'll find out as we get closer to seeing this mechanic specifically there is inoperable no charge offline powered and power source okay that's interesting interesting so engineering is going to be interesting once we get our hands on it there isn't there's even um a mechanic where it says prime so and um it also says prime required so that's going to be it says priming required so that's going to be interesting to see and um so there's prime then there's priming and there's a status of ready and um and there's also volts interesting some units units are calculated in ec and also volts so it seems like the the engineering mechanic is going to be very interesting so um and there's also overpower pertaining to tractor beams possibly so that's going to be interesting up next is hacking so in pertaining to hacking they were able to find some of this in the um xml files the first one says capture node um and then there's ping and then there is ddos so denial of service so i guess that's like a slowdown type of a uh, um, ability that you can use there is swap node that you can probably do you can rotate swap node and um, you can exit hacking and you can rotate board and there is a move so that's interesting so that's kind of giving us some ideas on how hacking is going to be it's going to be sort of like a board where you're going to have to navigate around and pass different security systems um, and maybe swap nodes where you connect from where you ping from and how you're going to attack probably similar to eve online's um hacking mechanic pertaining to the exploration mechanics in that game up next something that threw me off was boat hints it says um there is boat movement which is move boat power toggle to be able to power or turn off um boats and standing driver exit and steering this could be probably it says ui hint so it's probably going to be for the players but uh, that's interesting that we may see boats in the game so curious to see what that's going to look like um new contract manager features is the next thing we're going to talk about here it says view accept and create contracts so there's going to be players being able to create their own contracts contract um you can create new beacons um, i think that's something we can already do right and um you can specify distance there is an illegal mode for contract manager it looks like so that's going to be interesting and um there's going to be uh, beacons accepted 
history offers and a quick sort and reward also in there and it says search for things like names or rewards that's that's interesting all right so that's it for that up next is um it looks like they're gonna have um subscriber um variants subscriber flares probably for the medical medical gun there's gonna be a gray variant purple red and yellow variants that's gonna be new another one thing that really blew me away when i seen it maybe this is true maybe it's not true but it's pets so that's gonna be something interesting it says uh pets and there's gonna be restrained and unrestrained and those are the three things that they have mentioned here that they seem like they found in the game file so that's gonna be interesting the big one is really engineering right so what they found in some of the files is there's going to be cockpit rooms and bathrooms and all these things are different things that you'll be able to manage pertaining to whether it's, whether it's a ship or a station i believe through the engineering mechanic so um so based on which rooms you have selected you can control certain things right so current amount of g's that it says here and amount of gravity in relation to earth gravity so these are it seems like these are the different settings that you'll be able to do it says current gravity and target gravity so I guess you can set the gravity that you want and it will try its best to um, adjust the gravity in the ship to the target gravity that you want. So I guess that's probably going to be something that's going to take some time um, as you um, as you trigger it. All right. So life support, it says controls effects all select the rooms at the same time down um, did it shown will that is shown will show the average of each room use arrow to increase or decrease values so this is probably controlling the pressures of um the um i guess um the air pressures of the, all the various rooms um so there is also coolant usage fuel usage heat power power usage co2 levels scrub pressure scrub atmosphere and scrub temperature man this is gonna be deep man um o2 levels um current pressure current temperature and there's gonna be fill it says here pressure control select atmosphere so these are th these are different things that they find in the xml files by the way um let's see here vents vent controls um vent flow speed and that's gonna be deep that's interesting uh disable all warnings that informs of no available interaction so that's i'm not sure that seems like that's a warning um enable all warning ignore all warnings so you'll be able to ignore all warnings i guess um no available controls for all right not sure what that means all right gravity control groups items i guess you, you could probably set groups um based on this so you can probably select a group and then just control all the pressures and different things based on that group and um yeah that's that's gonna be really cool to help you organize things in your ship um see their system their cpu i'm not what sure what uh that's coolant so clt is probably going to be referred to as coolant in the game um and i guess thro is probably thruster and then unlock and then min and rm O C K and max so these are all different settings that you could set um to your power and your cooling system so that's interesting all right um i also see doors graph gravity item life support and rooms all right so you guys let me know your thoughts on what we just spoke about this is really interesting stuff um are you guys excited for the 320 build i'm not sure if the, any of these things will show up in 320 but this is a, these are things that they found in the game file specifically once again take it with a grain of salt whether it's going to be true or not these are leaks that's what we should expect all right i'll see you guys on the next video